In this video, you will learn how to work with templates in Angular and how to render data inside these templates. Hi, I am Alexander Kaherhin from Monster Lessons Academy, where I am teaching you how to become a programmer or improve your skills of being a programmer in learning by doing way. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, and I will link all links that I am mentioning in the description box below. And just to remind you, this video is the part of the free series Angular for Beginners. So let's jump right into it. In previous video, we successfully created our first module, Users List, with the component inside it. And as you can see in browser, our uh, HTML message from the template is rendered. But of course we want much more from our users list component, because we don't want only to render HTML, but a lot of other things. And just to remind you, this HTML that you see inside component is not just HTML. This is actually a special Angular template, and we are allowing here not only to write HTML, but a lot of other stuff from Angular itself. So for now we have here only HTML. The question is how we can render some variables from our component inside the template. And let's start with something simple. For example, we have just a string variable and we want to render it inside our template. So for this we can create, for example, test user, and this is a string, and it will be hi, I am a test user. So this is just a string. Now we jump to our template and to render this string we are using double brackets. And now inside we can write test user. So obviously this is not a valid HTML syntax, but it's not HTML at all. This is a special Angular template. Now if we look in browser, you can see the message hi, I am a test user. So basically this is how we are rendering normally variables from the component inside template. But basically this thing is called string interpolation. What does it mean? It means that inside is some a thing that we want to evaluate, which means it's not only for variables, actually we can write inside JavaScript code. So let's try to do it now, for example 1 plus 1, and in browser you can see that we have 2. So basically you can write here some evaluation code, for example concatenation, calling of the functions and so on. But I highly recommend you to make your templates as simple as possible, which means Normally, you just either want to render here plain properties or call the functions. This is it. You don't need to do any business logic inside templates because you need to do it inside your components directly and just render the result here. So this is how we're rendering variables. But of course we don't want only to render a string here. We want actually to render the array of users, because normally we are st storing users like an array of objects. So let's start first with just one array, which will be a simple one array of strings. Let's name it test users, and this will be an array of names, for example Jack, John and Sam. So this is just plain JavaScript array. And now how we can render this array of names inside our template. So let's remove test user because we don't have it anymore. But basically we need to use a loop here. And loop inside Angular is called ng4. So let's see how it is looking like. So we can write like this and then here is let user name of user names. Actually, it's not usernames because we called the variable inside component test users. So here should be test users. And I will say what it's doing in the second. And inside here we can render username. So let's look in the browser. As you can see here, we rendered three elements. And let's inspect it now. As you can see, there is three divs. Div with Jack, John and Sam. So what is this doing? Basically, this is special Angular syntax, ng4, and you can attach it in any DOM element, for example, like we did with div. 
So basically we are just saying in our div that we want an ng4 and this is our loop and here test users is our array. So this is the most important part because this is what we can't change. This is how it is in our TypeScript file. But this thing here is optional because basically here we can say foo because this is just a local variable for every element in our array. So this let and username means please create a variable username for each element in my array. And then we are saying that this is username of our array. And then inside this block, we have full access to the username and of course for test users, because test users we have access everywhere in this template. So basically in this part, we can render now username. So we also use here double brackets like previously to render the list. And this is exactly how we are rendering all lists inside Angular. I hope it is clear now, but basically we want to make it a little bit better, because normally we don't store users as an array of strings. Normally we store any data as an array of objects with different properties and unique IDs. So let's say that this is an array of users, and inside we have objects, and inside we have unique IDs, for example ID1, and name will be check, and we have for example age, 21. Now I will copy this user. So here we have three elements in our array. Here will be ID2, and it will be John, and age will be 25, and the third ID will be 3. It will be Sam, with age 29. So this is just plain array of objects, nothing more. The question is how we can render these users inside our template. So basically exactly in the same way like we did previously, but here won't be test users, but just users. And here we don't want to name it username because it's not only name, but the whole user. So here we have user. And now inside, of course, we want to render some information from this user. But the point is that uh, now, inside our component, every user is an object. And we can't directly print an object inside um, DOM. We want first to get the property of it. So here we can write user dot and access all properties that we have inside. For example, ID, name or age. So let's write here username is and once again user.age years old. So basically as you understand here we can use the string interpolation as many times inside as we want. And we want here first to access username because here is the access of user and then user age. And let's look in browser. As you can see here, we rendered three DOM elements. Jack is 21 years old, Chen is 25, Sam is 29. So this is exactly how we are rendering our users with ng4 loop inside Angular. And this is how we normally are storing data inside our component. In this video, you learned how to render information from our components inside templates. And just to remind you, please avoid complex logic inside your templates, because it is really difficult to support. And if you need more advanced stuff and this course is too easy for you, then don't forget to check my advanced Angular course, which is going 14 hours and where we are creating the whole application from start to the end. And I will link the link in the description box below. And if you like this video and you want more content like this, don't forget to put thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in my next video.